Anyways, let's go ahead and purchase, um... Actually, no matter what, though, I'm also able to purchase the, uh, the Boo Wee Palette, so that way I can able to protect myself from not getting stealed by most any other players to able to actually just to, God forbid, not to steal my style or something, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm very sorry about this point, folks, because I've got something in my throat, because yet again, I basically eat too many chili dogs recently, so, uh, that's to be expected, because I'm the fastest thing alive, so you probably know what to expect, so. Anyways, let's see what Daisy's gonna land on. She lands on the blue space, so. That's to be expected by that point. So let's see how Luigi's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna use the reverse motion to... Me? What? At first I thought you were going to use it yourself. Ah, it doesn't matter. And plus, besides, I'm also able to get another item later down the road. Well, until when it gets to the point until later on anyway. So, but either way though, I'm might as well able to be fine with that. So, <clears throat> Alright, so let's see here. Uh, we basically play, uh, played every single, uh, you know, full player minigames, all except, you know, Parasol Plummets, which is the only minigame we have not played yet, in terms of, you know, full player minigame type, so... In this case, let's have some fun on, uh, building snowballs again, so... Hopefully that should be a, a pretty fun thing to do. Alright, so let's... Oh, jeez. Waluigi almost gonna screw me up beyond belief, but, uh... Thankfully I did manage to recover in time, and trying to finish him off from here. Um, as far as anything else I'd like to discuss upon for this point, uh, aside from the fact that today's day is of course the 24th of uh, January today, in this case in 2021, still haven't heard anything about the forms of uh, Cap King 74 just yet because, well, I have no idea why, he just never seemed to come back, even though it's been about, you know what I mean, almost a year ago since his... Uh, the, the third episode, actually, of uh, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle Let's Play recently, so... But I still have no idea what's up with him. Like, I know this, uh, the whole thing is usually still ongoing, but let's face it, we have to focusing on the positive side things for now on, because this is a new year after all, and, um... <clears throat> also, it's the fact that, you know, we've only got about, um... I won't classify for saying, um, let's just say next three weeks or so, until likely, or lesser than three weeks for now, until when, uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is about to drew out at that time. And, um, uh, still I'm very excited for it nonetheless, so. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see what Daisy's gonna be grabbing something, and she grabs five coins. Not as going for her, I suppose. For Daisy, anyway. So, uh... Yeah, let's see what Luigi's gonna get. And looks like he doesn't go ahead and steal something from Boo. But I get this feeling that we're gonna be playing a battle game, of course. So... Okay. Bring it on, game. Bring it on. Let's see how many coins you're gonna bet on. 30 again?! Jeez. So many, uh... Emphasis on the forms of 30 coins bet. Oh yeah, yeah. And talking of the devil, we're going back to the luck-based minigame stacked deck, which, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to this. Even though the last time I was in, I think I was in third place last time, so... In this case, I'm now going to be able to actually just to go and be in first. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, is it this card? Oh, nice. That's actually a good start. But what about you, Waluigi? I see you trying to go aim for the bottom right card. And you are screwed. And what about you, uh, Luigi? What are you going to do? He's going to go for that card. And trying to go ahead and just shuffle our order. God knows if there are some rare occasions where uh, some, some of these opponents... Yeah, Luigi's going to get another go. Oh jeez, that's one of those rare occasions like this. And he was safe. Okay, that's fine for him. Alright, let's see what Daisy's gonna do. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm really sorry about this point, folks. I will try my best to able to, um, 
trying to do a lot of like commentary for this point, but because I did have a some sort of a sniffed up uh, throat at the moment, but I'm still fine on the last though, don't worry. And it looks like Daisy's out already after being shuffled again, so oh boy, it's gonna be a 50 50 chance or something. I'll go for this card. Oh, thank god, I'm safe. Now, what about you, Luigi? Let's see if you get either lucky or unlucky. And it looks like you're gonna go for the top left corner. Yes, I finally win on that luck-based minigame, of all things. Thank Christ. Hey, you know how much I hate this minigame more than the forms of how it does it on any other... Uh, other uh, mini games I was gonna be thinking of. Well, no one there is like the worst mini game I've ever played in this game. Well, that honor goes to Cheap Cheap Chase, mind you, because of you know what I mean. I've already explained about a few explanations about this. So, oh, talking of uh, my least favorite mini games, here we have Bounce and Trounce again. So, but luckily since I did manage to win last time, so uh, let's see if we can able to win this again. Alright, here we go. It's gonna have to concentrate on here, so just in case I really, really do need to able to rank up my, uh, <clears throat> coins to able to actually just to go ahead and, uh, try to win certain mini games, as we know. So, either way though, oh, looks like it's you and me, Luigi, again, send stack deck. Except the fact that we are gonna be doing with a, a deathmatch from those little pogo kind of bouncy balls kind of things, so... But I, at least I still win. Alright, so, um... I, I guess there's not much else I can honestly try to talk you to for this point, guys, apart from the fact that, wow, well, usually, relatively speaking, this is now onto the halfway point in, uh, the Mario Party 3 Battle Royale maps, of course, but now we're onto the forms of the first quarter from the entire Let's Play so far, because the reason why I pointed things out is because, well, we've only just got about, uh, three boards left for, uh, you know, the Battle Royale maps, and once we're done with the Battle Royale maps, then we can pretty much guarantee to move on to the next set of boards, be the forms of the door maps, so... And, oh, looks like Waluigi's gonna meet up with Mean Woody, and he's gonna go backwards. And, uh, basically, if you manage to grab that coin fruit, basically, you take away five coins. So, be very careful about that. So, as long as you were able to actually keep your, keep in track with your, uh, coin star counter, then, well, you were able to actually expect it that much, so... Alright, so, Daisy's gonna use the, uh, the golden mushroom, and she gets seven, five, four, so that makes sixteen. It almost becomes like a four, five, six syndrome, which, uh, either way, though, aside from all that stuff, though, is the fact that that will actually reference something related to, uh, Kumbana My 456 or something, which, uh, either way, though, that's something's worth the pointings out. Alright, so Luigi, he's gonna purchase the magic lamp, even though, though uh, recently he's now down to four coins, so, but hopefully he'll get more coins eventually, eventually, until when he, uh, Managed to win continuous amounts of mini games, as we know. So, Toadstool Titan. So, very glad to be able to go back into this mini game again. And remember how last time we went to this mini game, that how that mini game decides to drag on a bit because of computer players obviously dodges everything. Let's see if we can able to do a quicker, uh, you know, round in uh, Toadstool Titan, as you can tell. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, you're almost gonna crash into me, Waluigi. But anyway, but not today, my friend, because I have managed to get the mushroom. Take this! Pretty awesome and pretty satisfying match. Although, it's actually a lot quicker here than the, uh, than the previous attempts that we did this. I think it was in, um, Deep Blooper Sea or something? I'm pretty sure it's in, no wait, Spiny Desert. I think it was Spiny Desert. I know it's been a while since I actually did manage to, like, you know, recap some of those, uh, previous videos of our Let's Play of Mario Party 3. 
because uh, it seems pretty obvious because I was going to be able to concentrate on the future videos and beyond, so forgive me on that part, so. Alright, so let's see what Waluigi's going to do. He gets a 10. And believe it or not, he's going to go for... Oh, no. Well, we meet again with the chance time thing, aren't we? Since Deep Blue Per Se. It seems it's kind of weird that how the fact that we've never actually come across into chance time space in uh, two boards so far. One of them is actually in uh, chilly waters and as well as the forms of uh, spiny desert and Luigi doesn't have anything. What's the point, Waluigi? What's the point? I mean, I wish for able to actually get myself my nice victory, but Luigi doesn't have anything. What's the point of you? <laughs> okay then, that seems kind of random, but I. Hey. Alright, Daisy gets a 1, and she's gonna land on the item space, which activates the item minigame. And sure enough, she'll able to go for Derby Dip, or Derby, or Dory Dip, as far as I like to pronounce her correct, pronounce him correctly, I should say. So, uh, but we still have not actually seen Hey Batter Batter yet, which, uh, I know it seems a bit obvious and a bit odd at the same time, but still. Okay, so let's see what item is Daisy's gonna go after, and she goes after the... Another Warp Block! Seriously, there's gonna be a lot of emphasis on Warp Blocks in this case. Although later on until when it gets to the point until likely, uh... You know, Mario Party 4, and Mario Party 5, and Mario Party 6, uh, it will be replaced by, uh, warp pipes, essentially. So, uh, yeah, that seems very obvious, but that's done. Oh my god. So many warp blocks! I mean, what is this, like, a warp, a warp block fest festival or something? Gee. Uh, anyway. Oh, we're going back to Mario's Puzzle Party again. And first of all, we're going back onto Ice Risk, oh, Ice Rink Risk again, but seems we're going back into this puzzle party again. But at least I don't mind it at all, because this minigame is actually pretty cool looking, and, uh, managed to able to actually get the greatest start in terms of the Mario Party puzzle games of any sort, so... But hey, on the upside is, though, I honestly don't mind about this at all, so either way, though, we'll... Try to build up as, as many combos as we could, so either way though, we can expect this much, so... But obviously, since last time I actually seemed to lost uh, this minigame due to how Daisy is actually really good when it comes to building up combos and everything else like that, but... Uh, really hoping I can able to build up many of those combos as I could this time around, so... Also, I should probably point things out right away, is that since, after all, that you've noticed I'm playing the PAL version of Mario Party 3, that uh, the only major difference is between um, the American version as well as the forms of the, uh, well, I would say the Japanese version or something, but uh, forgive me on that specific uh, wrong answers, but uh, apparently, that if you ever play the uh, NTSC version, is the fact that the actual score tally was actually in a rectangular formation. Like, almost to likely spread, uh, almost trying to fill up the entirety of the Lakitu's cloud. But in the PAL version, as well as the version I'm playing on right now, uh, doesn't seem to able to get a stretched out uh, rectangular shape. Because it was actually like a smaller rectangle, which... Um, I know it seems a bit odd to able to actually see some of those uh, visual changes here and there, but uh, it's more pointing out because I know some people seem to don't usually pay attention to that specific stuff as much as I do, but um, it's more able to actually point things out because uh, either way though, because you can definitely see some of those significant changes from this mini game itself. So, but yeah, that's why I'm really asking for this point. Alrighty then, so let's see what we're we gonna do for this point. So, of course the arrows has now changed signs, which to be expected by this point. And I get a 3, so that means I get a red space. But that's fine, because uh, I haven't landed on any of those red spaces for quite some time now. But anyway, uh, Waluigi's not gonna do anything because, well, he doesn't get a chance to steal- Oh my god, another battle game of all things again! Okay, let's see how many coins we're gonna bet this time. 
Okay, 20 is fine. I mean, certainly a lot better than 30 of all things. Could be, well, it could be very devastating when it reaches to 50. I mean, jeez. Ah, oh, right. Another luck-based minigame. Merry Go Chomp. Below the spinning pillar, the chain jump waits for you. Try your luck, pick your color, and, well, to try to avoid, uh, the chain jump. So, do apologize for that particular game rules description error, but either way, though, it knows what it is. So, it's basically, it's a, like, another luck-based like minigame. So, in fact, this is actually kind of similar to, uh... Uh, Bowser's Big Blast for Mario Party 2, except the fact that rather than dealing with switches, instead we have to rely on hopping onto those different colored, uh, you know, platforms as you can see on screen. But if you get, if you get caught by a chain jump, then you are basically out of the game. It was even much more, uh, you know, dumber than you ever thought it was, is that if the chain jump somehow picks the empty spot, and then basically you're able to actually spin the wheel again. And as a result, they can give you a lot of emphasis on, well, a lot of emphasis on luck, really. So, it can be very, uh, infamous when it comes to certain minigames like this. Even on the battle minigames front, that usually it does manage to contain several luck-based minigames as far as I'm aware. But, that's how it is for me, though, so... I'm already hoping I don't get picked out from this. And I think it's actually doing okay for my part. Well, it certainly will be because, of course, Luigi was in fourth. And, uh, Waluigi is now in third. And it's now between me and Daisy this time. So, uh, let's see if I'm hoping I can win this for sure. If I do, then I will be really damn proud for myself. For able to actually win those, uh, you know, luck-based minigames. So, well, at least for now anyway. Okay, so he's gonna spin this, uh, spinning pillar around again, so... Oh boy. Please, please, please game, don't do this. Sweet victoriness! My second luck-based minigame victoriness! Too easy, that was a piece of cake. Yeah, I have to say that catchphrase, because either way though, despite it's luck-based still, but, uh, at least I can manage to win though. But at least they give a coin to Waluigi anyway, so... So I'm guessing that Daisy now have her opportunity to able to steal some coins to me, so... Or, to be more specifically, since she doesn't able to actually try to steal coins to me, because I still got myself my glorious, uh, Boo, uh, Repellent, so this means, well, prepare to die. Well, not literally trying to die, but either way, we managed to be able to scare him off. Whew. Jeez, so many luck-based minigames, I can't stand the most out of it. Alright, Luigi's gonna use the warp block, and somehow he's gonna teleport Waluigi over, so... Okay, that seems a bit odd. And he gets a 4. And he doesn't have that much coins though, so he literally just got zero coins, so... Yeah, it seems it's one of those, another one of those emphasis on, you know, didn't get that much, uh, things to begin with, so... Okay, pump, pump, and away, again. So, hopefully we should be able to actually win this for sure. Even though I'm pretty much good at this every now and then, because, again, I'm still used to with Bloom Burst for some reason, but after a while though, after several practices later, then I pretty much know what I'm doing now, so... Alright, so let's see how we go up to this point. I won't guarantee to be able to get a new record on this though, but close enough. Because, uh, we reached into that 300, uh, meters mark, and, yeah, it looks like we didn't go anywhere, so... Oh well, no big deal, not the end of the world, but at least I did manage to win on the last though. Great job, Waluigi, even though I'm as well able to give you some of these, uh, or we managed to able to get some coins, though, so... Because, you know, I'm fine with that, so either way, though, we'll able to just leave it to that. Alright, so we are now on to last five turns already. So in this case, I'm on first, Waluigi is in second, Daisy's uh, in third, 
And lastly is Luigi. So in this case, Merlin Star is gonna give Luigi 10 coins, so that might be good for him. So either way though, yeah, we probably get the idea of how this goes. We've only come across into Baby Bowser and Bowser's final five turn uh, kind of thing just once, and that was in Chili Waters anyway, so yeah, this seems kind of strange. But anyway, let's go ahead and go to the left to hopefully try to get the item at some point. So, in this case, Waluigi's gonna use the warp block, so let's see what he's gonna warp towards. Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, oh, dang you, Waluigi! Why could you do this? You betrayed me! Uh, I'm guessing that's what the warp blocks comes into play. Oh boy. I bet that most any other players were able to actually use that a lot. Like, literally, they're gonna use that a lot. So in this case, Daisy's gonna use one of hers, and she'll teleport Luigi, and, well, that's pretty much how this goes. And she only gets one, so that's a bit puny for her. Now what is- oh, of course, he's gonna use it as well. If it's me again, I will be pushed back. And speaking of such, I got pushed back! Wow, those warp blocks seem to really mess me up every now and then. Ah, it doesn't matter, because I'm almost nearly at the forms of that, you know, the item shop as far as I like to purchase. And Luigi gets a skeleton key thanks to that hidden block, so... If he gets a start though, he will be slightly catching up though, but... Not now anyway, so... Title Tars. We've already played this before, but um, hopefully we should be able to... You know, survive the longest as we will go. Excuse me, I'm really sorry about this point, folks. Um, yeah, let's just say, eventually, whenever we get on to the next weekend, which is, appears to be by the forms of the fifth board in uh, Mario Party 3, in the Battle Royale maps of boards, um, I will try my best to able to do a much more better commentary than, uh, the second part of the Woody Woods board, because aside from my, uh, throat issues, but don't worry, we haven't got the actual dangerous, uh, virus flu thing, so don't, do not worry, because, well, I'm still healthy, like, I still eat healthy stuff, and, uh, every once in a while, chili dogs, as to be expected, which, either way, though, that might be, seems a good news, so, yeah, at least we still managed to win, though. I'm really hoping I don't get, like, a lower number to, uh, come across into another battle game, but, sure enough, though, it's the fact that we've almost, like, um, shown off every single battle mini games so far. Like, I think we've only got one battle game left, so... Ah, oh, I spoke too soon, haven't I? Oh boy. Alright, let's see how many coins we gotta bet on. Ah, oh, Jesus Louise, why is it always 30? I've worked hard! Oh my god, okay. But this time, we're now playing All Fired Up. A new minigame we have not seen yet, so... The plot of boosts are coming to get you. Do your best to avoid, uh, getting hit by a plot of boo. So, uh, basically, all we have to do in this minigame is that we have to avoid these plot of boos, and... Well, that's all you have to do here. In fact, this minigame does remind me of the minigame from Mario Party 10, which appears to be Beeline Shrine. Except the noticeable differences between this than uh, Beeline Shrine is that, obviously, rather than just dodging plotter boos in Mario Party 10, because we're actually avoiding bees, so... Oh, there's no escape! There's no escape! Ah, oh, I totally forgot about that pattern. But on the upside is though, is the fact that we have we have actually seen every single battle mini games in Mario Party 3. So uh, yeah, it's about time to able to actually show every single battle mini games of how this game offers us to. So uh, yeah, that seems fun enough. And I believe we only got about one more two versus two mini game, which appears to be Hyper Height Trends. I think that's what that mini game is called anyway. And also, we're still missing one mini game left, which is. Uh, it's pretty obvious what the, uh, the minigame I was going to talk about is, uh, Parasol Plummet, and as well as the many other minigames I like to discuss upon, but let's not get it ourselves. And it looks like Luigi and Waluigi both survive at the exact same time as each other. 
But unfortunately for me, I'm now in fourth, so... But that's fine, because I'm still in the lead for the coin star as it is, so I don't expect that, you know, Waluigi or Luigi will catch me up anytime soon, so... But yeah, at least I don't have to worry about this specific stuff just yet. Alright, so meanwhile, Waluigi is gonna once again land on the, uh, the happening space. And I get the feeling that Waluigi will definitely get himself the happening star. Like, I can assure to you that he will definitely gonna get it. Oh, dear lord. What is she gonna walk to this time? Oh, I was hoping to get that item! Oh, man, the computer players always know what they're doing. Especially that she refused to let me trying to get another magic lamp. That's what the actual emphasis on computer players can be sometimes. Oh, jeez Louise, man. But anyway, looks like Luigi's gonna use the magic lamp after all, so in this case, he will definitely get the star now, thanks to that, the battle mini game that we have played. So, Mushroom Kadabra. Oh man, it's gone pretty crazy in Woody Woods though, even no one there is compared to the forms of, uh, well, chilly waters, because in chilly waters, you know what I mean. But, hey, at least it doesn't give, uh, you know, two opponents manage to give, like, get, like, a singular star from that hidden block on a single turn. So now it looks like the next star is now gonna be right next to Woody, so... Yeah, that seems very obvious for that specific placement. Alright, so it looks like Luigi's gonna meet up with uh, Bowser, so... What's he gonna do for that? In fact, we haven't landed on the, uh, the single Bowser space in this board so far. Which, unlike uh, Spiny Desert, that uh, Mario keeps on landing on the Bowser space most of the time. So, yeah, that seems very obvious. And it looks like Luigi almost got no coins again, so... Yeah, that definitely seems to be obvious. Alright, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Baby Bowser broadside again. Even though I'm not too crazy with this minigame though, just because of the camera angles, as well as that stupid pillar thing that gets in your way. And also because, well, everything else in this minigame seems a little bit iffy to me. But, uh, hey, at least on the upside is though, because that was a quicker time limit, as opposed to the ones in, um, well, let's just say the Japanese release of the game, as well as the American release of the game too, so, uh, Looks like we're not doing too bad, aside from those missed out shots in between, but uh, either way though, we're just trying to able to let this minigame be done and over with. Oh, come on, I need to win this for sure. Oh, what the? We got a draw again. Oh dear. We keep on getting a lot of draws, aren't we? Especially ever since in, uh, well, Chip Shot Challenge, as well as, um, you know, um, treadmill grill, so, yeah, we're not doing, like, too many victories from that at, at, at this point. Which, I've no idea why I'm being saying things like that. Oh, lucky me! I need 50 coins, thank you. That really helps me out, especially noticeable, I would able to actually get the coin star, no problem, so... And it looks like Waluigi's gonna go for, um... Either reverse fruit or takeaway coins. Yeah, it's takeaway coins. In this case, you'll lose five coins. So, yeah, that might be seems unfortunate for him. So, all right, Daisy gets an eight, even though she lands on the bank space. But too bad for you, Daisy, because I'm feeling quite rich. But she's gonna duel against with me in a duel mini game anyway. So, uh, let's see how much coins she's gonna bet on six. Okay, I'm fine with six coins in another new minigame, Baby Bowser Bonkers. This minigame seems to be fine. Lots of Baby Bowsers will pop out of the holes, score points by stomping on them, or jumping on them, or stopping on them, whatever you to be more precise. So, but either way though, think of like a uh, whack-a-mole, except, you know, you're now stopping onto those baby Bowsers, as you see, on those holes. So, 
But basically, you have to stop as many of those baby bells as the most will be the winner. So, yeah, that seems very obvious what this specific objective for this minigame is all about. So, yeah, I don't have that much of an issue from here, unlike baby bells are broadside because, you know, you have to always try to deal with uh, the cameras in a fixed position. Well, usually the cameras usually in stay put, which I have no idea why I'm explaining things right now. But at least I did manage to win by three points from Daisy. So that means it'll, uh, well, obviously my coins will able to get increased every single moment's notice. Oh, for the love of... I bet this board will take long. I bet this board will take much longer than it needs to be. But on the upside is though, um, it's now 10 coins this time. So uh, at least I'm fine here, so... Good lord, man. But uh, we're doing a uh, slap down, so... I think I'll be alright with this. Alright, let's see what flower is it going to be this time. And it's going to be a blue flower, which matches up my... Uh, blue hedgehog color, so I'm fine with that. And Luigi gets it first. But that's fine because I'll take second anyway, so whoever needs those coins anyway for me, because, well, it's pretty obvious that I seem to be still in the lead for the coin star lead, so. But that's fine by me, I said this before. But at least they give a coin or a penny coin to Waluigi again. Jeez, what is up with that? Anyway, another four-player game, what should we expect? So, in Aces High. I, I, I think that last time I did manage to win this though, but I'm not exactly sure if I was going to win this minigame again, but I'll see. Alright, so here we go. It's trying to break, so just in case we can able to turn around. Seriously, it almost reminds me of those, uh, Lyath Wars, aka Star Fox 64, uh, dogfight, uh, kind of segments, which, uh, it might be sounds a bit similar, but except the fact that rather than taking place in the, in the outer space, or the Galactic Federation, uh, or anything else like that, because instead it takes place into the, uh, uh the skies above, mainly with, it, like, added in a rainbow and stuff like that. Ah, oh, I'm out. Oh well, at least we can still see those three other opponents are doing, so... If you're out, however, though, basically you can see the actual, like, uh, the, the camera's aiming at the, uh... Oh, while well, Luigi's out. So it's the down between Luigi and Daisy, of all things. I would have guessed that Daisy might be able to win this for sure. Yep, I think Daisy's gonna be in the lead for that minigame anyway. Because, uh, if you get a draw, um, basically, it's the fact that if, uh, if most of these players get, like, uh, the exact same amount of heart pieces, um, like, for example, if Daisy gets one, um, heart left, and, uh, if Luigi still got one heart left, they'll able to get a draw instead. So, yeah, I might as well point that out, so. Alright, last two turns in Woody Woods, and, um, uh, yeah. That maybe seems obvious. Um, I'm gonna try to land on the item space. And, oh goody, we got a toad here. Um, I will go for a cheap item. And I'm the honest person. So in this case, I get a warp block, a dueling glove, and a golden mushroom. Thanks, toad. I appreciate it with those item selections that you've got me. And Waluigi gets a six, so in this case you will land on... Oh, I know why he's gonna land on the Game Guy space. It's because if he ever gets, like... Uh, if he ever wins on one of those um, gamble mini games, he will definitely try to go ahead and steal uh, the star from me. Which, um, actually, kind of think about it, it's on the next turn anyway. Um, if he dead wins, and if he managed to get, like, 50 coins out of it so far... I think I'm also able to duel against with Waluigi to able to stop him trying to steal a star from me. That would be my part of the plan. But is he going to go for it? Well, sure enough, he wins. So, in this case, he wins double the amount of 25 coins. So that pretty much leads him to 50, so... Yeah, it seems very obvious. 
I'm quite surprised that we've never actually come across since this last Game Guy minigame either. Like, I think the only ones that's left is uh, Game Guy's Roulette, and that's pretty much about it, so... Alright, Daisy gets a 4, and she's once again gonna go for the item minigame, but this time, Winner's Wheel. So I wonder what item is she definitely gonna go for, so... And it looks like she's gonna go for... God knows what item is she might go for. But we'll see. We'll see what happens until when uh, she will decide to go ahead and uh, push the button and all that stuff. And let's see what item is she gonna bet on. Well, it's definitely not the magic lamp for sure, but she will get just a normal mushroom. That might be seems fine for her. But regardless of everything else though, it's the fact that uh, Woody Woods is almost over. Because let me tell you, I found this board to be an average at best board. I mean, usually it's not my favourite board in the world, although I would say it's my second least favourite board in Mario Party 3, uh, just because of the way the board is actually structured. Like, you know, it's a very similar concept with Luigi's engine room. But, at least on the upside is though, I kind of prefer this board than the forms of how it does it in Luigi's engine room, for sure. Just because you don't have to worry about these, uh, these doors anymore. Especially with the forms of, you're now able to actually use items this time. So at least I'm most able to give this board some credit for it, but it's just average. Alright, so now we here we go with uh, Awful Tower again, and I keep on getting knocked back twice. Three times in a row! Okay, there we go. Even though sometimes you have to deal with the forms of stiff momentum, which uh, it kind of reminds me of. Seriously, it always reminds me like I was playing the Castlevania games or something like that. Like, you cannot influence the mid-air with like, too many emphasis on momentum or anything like that, which... Uh, that will definitely be one of the hardest aspects about uh, Awful Tower, for surely. Oh jeez, I keep slipping off. Oh jeez. Well, at least I'm pretty much almost there, but... Ah, oh, dang it, I keep on failing off. Okay, come on, there's only 9 seconds left, or somewhat 5 seconds left. Ah, uh, no, hopefully I can make it. Oh, did I make it? WHAT?! HOW DOES IT GIVE ME A DRAW?! Oh, wait a second, the time run out. Oh, jeez Louise, man. I've no idea what's going on for this point, guys. I have no flipping idea. Oh, man. But anyway, we got on to the final turn already, so, uh... I was trying to get that star, but because the Monty Mall has changed the actual, uh, the arrow sign recently, so instead... I'm gonna be able to duel against with Waluigi to able to stop him to try to steal a star for me, as I said, so... In this case, I might as well do that, and I'm gonna bet for... Um, no matter what though, let's go for 10 coins. Because I'll follow, so I might as well do that. And we'll go for... Fine with me again. So, since we've already seen this before in uh, Spiny Desert, but now I'm gonna be playing, so... At least I've already know about the instructions already, so it's just a very brief short uh, message for that particular uh, mini game game rules and stuff. So, but at least on the upside is though is that I can able to actually finish this mini game off in a quicker way fashion. Like I can just simply just time myself within ease. Although be very careful though, because if you time if you didn't time your uh, jump well enough, then you're probably gonna get munched by those piranha plants, which. That does seem a little bit more dangerous as it is. Like, why did they take that away in the top 100 version? That just doesn't make that much sense. Like, where's the charm? Like, I have no idea. But anyway, I did manage to win the mini game, so they'll able to actually give me a some sort of like a good strategy in mind. So at least I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Alright, so, five, and we end off with a blue space, so, I think 205 is actually the coin star record, so, I think that's actually a really good amount, so, in this case, Waluigi's gonna steal coins to me instead, so, ugh. But that's fine, because, 
either way though, he doesn't steal a star, so in this case he takes 22 coins, so... That's fine, because even then though, this board is almost over, so... Alright, so... And of course the item shop is closed, so... Because it's the final turn. And let's see what Daisy's gonna go for. She's obviously gonna use the regular mushroom. I'm guessing because she really wants to get that star, but obviously the actual arrow sign has changed, so there's no point for Abel to just deal with that. So in this case, she's gonna go to the left, and I don't know what space she might land on. I think it's like, um, blue? Yeah, just blue. And lastly, for Luigi, he's gonna use the golden mushroom. Pretty obvious what the final item is it going to be for using it. He gets one, and four, and... Oh, that was a miserable number roll. That was a seriously a miserable uh, roll right there, Luigi. No offense, but that is miserable. Anyway, uh, Boulder Ball, which, uh, it's been a while since we actually played this minigame. I think the last time we played this minigame is in... Um, God knows, Deep Blooper Seal something? I have no idea. But anyway, let's go ahead and reach to the top. Alright, so let's go ahead and just uh, move up a bit slightly, so just in case we won't be able to get ourselves a good running speed. Even though Waluigi gets uh, squished or flattened, and so does Daisy, so, uh, yeah. Oh, can we make it for surely? But I'm pretty sure I, I, I don't mind if Daisy will make it there, because since we're the team of three, this means we'll guarantee to win for sure. But good lord, man, what a long game board as it goes. Like, it's almost like, um, I would say, almost like an hour and 20 minutes or so. Probably because there's too many battle games in this particular board. I need to see what how many battle games we have played. Although technically not one because of uh, the cancelled one since the very beginning because I didn't seem to get that much points, but that's besides the point. Alright, detailed results, or the la final results I should say. So I've got two stars, Waluigi and Luigi both got one star, so, and Daisy has none of those. So, minigame star goes to me, obviously, because I'm good with certain minigames, and coin star goes to me, because I've managed to hold the most coins out of you lot. And I'm pretty sure Waluigi gets the happening star, which sure enough, he did. But that doesn't excuse the thing about the fact that, well, Waluigi will doesn't seem to catch up to me anytime soon. So in this case, Daisy's in fourth, and Luigi's in third, and Waluigi's in second, so I've win. And also, this is my fourth victory in Mario Party 3. Pretty top notch. Nice going for you, DK. Nice going for you. Especially no for that, uh... You know, you're the greatest uh, character of all time when it comes to Nintendo franchises and stuff like that, so... Anyway, detailed results. Um, well, I've got 141 coins for that minigame star, and pretty much got the uh, 205 coins for that coin star. Six happening spaces for Waluigi! Jeez Louise, man. Anyways, uh, let's see any other spaces. Only one chance time space due to Waluigi, one from uh, one Bowser space from Luigi. So that's roughly s seven battle spaces that we land on. God, man. But that was like six battle games that we have played. So I guess we should probably end things off here. So join me next weekend for more of Let's Play of Mario Party 3. It's the fact that we're moving on to the fifth board, and that was the forms of Creepy Cavern, my least favorite board. So I'll see you guys until next weekend. Later, fellas.